It's been, what, 12 episodes of Weapon Guide so far, and this is the first 4-star weapon that I'm covering. Oh well, better late than never, I guess. I also realize I haven't covered a weapon that has a neural upgrade yet, but we'll save that for another time. But for now, welcome back to Weapon Guides. Today, we're looking at a weapon that you cannot hide from, even inside a tank, the PTRT-41. The PTRD-41, or the, uh, Detrogov anti-tank rifle, is a Soviet single-shot anti-tank rifle designed in 1941 and saw production until 1945. The lock and several features of a stolen PZB-38 is what led to the design of both the PTRD-41 and the PTRS-41. When the design came along, they made both rifles and then decided, eh, fuck it, let's just put both of them in production. Like MG42's fire rate, the ammo that PTRD uses is no joke scary. For reference, bullet number 11 is a 50 cal. The PTRD uses bullet number 9, a 14x5 at 144mm armor piercing round. In case you're wondering what uses bullet number 1, it's for a GAU 8A Avenger, which are mounted on A10 Thunderbolts. I'm willing to bet that that's what the Sniper Fairy uses after the UMATS level it. The PTRD can be found through various missions. They include, but are not limited to, 01, 44, 42 emergency, 52, 73 emergency, 85, 81 emergency, 91, 95, 93 emergency, 105, and 102 emergency. Try processing all that in one go with all captions on. It can also be obtained through weapon production with a time of 4 hours and 30 minutes, alongside its predecessor in air quotes, the PZB 39. For the first time in weapon guides, I finally get to say this. As a 4-star weapon, it'll cost you 63 dummy cores for all 4 dummy links. But each copy of PTRD you use for dummy linking will reduce that cost by 9 cores each. There's the dummy core something I like better. Shame that it took me like 4 weapon guide episodes to actually find it. Moving on. Stats on the PTRD-41 really does scream heavy hitter, almost railgun-like. The PTRD-41 has the 4th highest damage at 159. I'm kind of curious to see what it can one-shot, but I kind of testing would take way too long when I could be doing more productive things, like these weapon guide videos, or preparations for continuum turbulence, or goalie. <laughs> Accuracy is barely above the 74 median at 75, sharing it with NTW20. Even with VM59's lowest accuracy set at 52, snipers rarely ever miss their shots. Perhaps I should just skip accuracy for snipers from now on, but then again, there is the whole night ops dilemma. I'll have to do more observations and such. Evasion is less than desirable at 29, but it's not a matter anyways. This is the sniper we're covering, not an SMG removing a fucking pistol for Trichanka's sake. Fire rate is the most lethargic out of all snipers at 28 as opposed to M14's 43. I'm not actually mad about this as the PTRD is a single shot, meaning you have to reload after every single shot. If this was the PTRS 41 with the same 29 fire rate, then we got some problems. Like the other heavy hitters, mass numbers is a weakness. That's stuff like dinner gets. PTRD's skill had changed since the client update before Singularity released. Previously, once the skill was ready, you'd take aim and fire a more powerful shot at one enemy depending on who you're using. Now, it's changed so that it charges up and deals damage depending on how charged up the skill is. Targeting priorities are all still the same, and in PTRD's case, it's the one closest to you. Assuming fully charged, the shot does a 7x damage value. You can essentially supercharge it by surrounding it with pistols that have damage buffs like Grizzly, Single Action Army, and Mark 23, or er, Darling Freak. Tile buff isn't anything too special, but at least it's not unusable. Since it's a sniper, allow me to recommend on what to buff PTRD with. If you plan to use the railgun strategy with PTRD, damage is an absolute must, but otherwise, try to mix damage with fire rate and fire rate especially because of the slow firing speed. I found myself yelling at PTRD to shoot faster, all in the meanwhile everyone else is dying around her. I'm sure you've had something like this happen before as well. Before we can get into equipment recommendations, I must first point out PTRD's special equipment. It was obtainable through a boss event during Easter of 2018. It's a cape which references Ludmia Pavlyuchenko, although the description see here is that Pavlyuchenko used a Mosin Nagant and not a PTRD-41. And also based on Supevichenko's blue coat in the anime Dark in the Black. Fully maxed out, it provides 25% critical damage, plus 4 to fire rate, 
and minus 3 on movement speed. Compared to our normal Mass Out Cape, the only difference here is the Fire Rate buff. And considering P2RD's Fire Rate set, it's a must have for P2RD. Now back on topic with equipment recommendations, a Rifle Scope is a must. I know it would make more sense that an Eotech sight would be better since it would help just a bit more with the skill damage, but a Rifle Scope does more damage with the other shots that aren't the Apt skill. And plus the Eotech sight has the harshest fire rate penalty and that's the last thing PTRD needs. And if you have PTRD special equipment, use it. If you don't have one, that's okay, you can still use a regular cloak, she won't really be moving around anyways. Overall, the PTRD-41 is a heavy hitter that takes no bullshit from anything, especially armor. A neural upgrade would be nice, but seeing as NTW-20 got one, making her the second ever 5 star weapon that turned 6 star, I don't really see PTRD getting one anytime soon. Hell, I'm willing to bet that PTRD-S-41 gets added before PTRD gets a neural upgrade. But otherwise, give it a shot if you didn't like it the first time around. That's it for this long ass segment of weapon guides. Tune in next time when I have to remaster another goddamn weapon guy because they released special equipment for it. Make it at least challenging. <laughs> <laughs>